What's going on guys? It's Renjin and welcome back to another Python tutorial. I know I have been somewhat inactive for the past uh, like about a month and a half and I haven't made any videos at all. I actually want to get into making more gaming videos and uh, more of these tutorials but um, I do want to make at least a couple of these tutorials this week and then move on to try to do it like maybe once a week uh, for the rest of the month and then you know on at least the rest of this month but um those are just my goals and let's get it let's go ahead and get into this episode so today what I want to talk about I want to talk about um, storing or sorry sorting sorry I always get this mixed up storing and sorting but we are going to be sorting and we're going to learn about tuples now both of these branch off of our knowledge of lists which um, if you need a ref like a complete refresher you can go back and look at those tutorials I could put a link in the description but as of right now, it's not like too imperative that you know everything about lists. It's just kind of a, a little thing to do with lists and a little function and then a little mini sort of type of list almost in the sub li the list subcategory. So let's go ahead and let's make a list since you are working with lists. Let's call it L1. And let's go ahead and put our brackets to remind you. Put our brackets there for um, list. Excuse me. So let's enter some numbers. We'll have them unordered. Let's go 65, 32, and let's do one more, 74. So, obviously these are unordered, and this is where I want to, you know, this is where the whole point of this episode, well, half the point, is coming from, in case we wanted to sort these variables, so say, like, ever you need to change your variable, I don't know, I have maybe an example of a high score, where, you know, you get a new high score, you enter it in the list, but then you need to sort it again. So, because you know, obviously you're going to want to show the high scores, you know, number one, number two, number three, and so on. So you need to sort the list again, and then, you know, print the list, obviously. So, in order to do that, obviously, you know, we would do the whole adding to list and all that. But after that, we would actually need to sort the list so that it is chronological, or, well, cr chronological? I don't think it'd be chronological. But it'd be in order. <laughs> Let's just go with that. So, we're going to use L1 which is the name of our list, so it's just going to be like list name, right, dot, so in this case, L1, dot, sort, and then empty parameters, because this is a function, dot sort is actually running a function, and it didn't work, just kidding, it worked. Right now, we just ran the function, we didn't tell it to print anything, we didn't tell Python to do anything, we're just like, yo, sort this stuff, and it's like, alright, got it sorted, I'm like, well, where is it? So you have to type in L1 to get your values back, and bobbity bing! There you go. 32, 54, 65, and 74. Now this is basically just a little trick that can come in handy. Uh, good thing to know. And another thing that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you tuples. Now tuples are very similar to a list. They're almost the same thing, but there's one difference. It's that you can't actually change um, any of the values in tuples. You can I don't you can't add either you can't subtract numbers or digits or strings anything from a tuple uh, you can only do that with lists so the way you write a tuple let's go tuple name and we'll go equals it's actually pretty similar it's just you know bam bam and there you go oops I want to do that okay there we go tuple name return our values and bada bing. So, uh, you really, you can't change it. You can't add, subtract, and even, let me show you something real quick. Tuple name dot sort. You can't sort it either. Bada bing. You can't change it, you can't add to it, you can't subtract from it, you can't sort it. It's exactly how you write it in your code. If you write 2561, it's going to stay 2561. It's never going to change. It's, you know, it's history. Never changes. But uh, at least you can change. Um, I, I don't know if I overemphasized that point there, but um, it is definitely something that is you know, comes in handy to use, That you know, a list that you can't change. But just remember, it's a tuple, and it works almost identically to the list, but instead of using the, the straight brackets, I don't even know the technical term for that, but uh, these little doohickeys. Instead of using those, you use parentheses. So just remember that. And to go over what we did, we'll have we have L1 right here, the list, and then L1 dot sort, and then we just did L1, and that gave us our values back. 
which are now sorted because we ran the l1.sort function. And we have tuple name here. Obviously, it doesn't have to be called tuple name. It can be called whatever you want. It can just be, you know, blah, 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 equals. Um, and then we have the equal sign. Just, you know, probably didn't need to point that out <laughs> that there was an equal sign. But notice the parentheses that, you know, constitutes it as a, as a, um, what's it called? Tuple. There you go. The my, or the word escaped my mind. And, and we tried the tuple, or we tried the sort function on the tuple, and Python just said no. It's like, no. Just no. And we're like, okay. We kind of have to deal with that. So, that's all for today's episode. Um, and I know it was short. I know we didn't go over a lot, but it just a couple of little mini tricks. I will probably go over something more in depth in the next episode. Or I might go, I'm thinking about doing like a project or something like that, where I go, okay, let's let's start here, let's do this. Maybe something with math. I don't know. Maybe just some, maybe a little project series. I don't know, you know? I don't know, but do you know? I don't know what I'm asking here. I'll just end the episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, definitely comment if you're needing, in need of some help. I can definitely help you out. Uh, notice I am using 3.3.2. 3, 3. And there's actually a big difference and well not a big difference but there is definitely a difference in 2.7 point something but it's 2.7 I have 3.3 three. but uh, in 2.7 there's the thing like raw input which you don't have anymore in 3.3 uh, three. we actually have um, just int input right so some of the syntax has changed so just keep that in mind when you go ahead and try to look at these episodes, because I know a lot of the comments I get, I'm not saying I'm annoyed or anything, I'm just saying, like, that could be one of your problems, but a lot of the comments I get are saying, oh, I try this and try that, and, you know, they're at the end of being, or they end up using 2.7, and I have to go, yo, kid, gotta use raw input, but, um, thanks for watching again, I hope to make some more episodes in the future, and I definitely hope to get in some more some more gaming videos, because those are pretty fun to make. Not to say that these aren't fun to make, uh, but I rambled on long enough. I'll let you guys go, and thank you for watching. Have a nice night.